Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Custom Figures coming at you today with a big bad overview of an up and coming custom figure I'll be making of Medusa. So please guys sit back and relax while I talk you through why and how I'll be making this figure and everything else in between. So as you can see, I've got all the parts here. There's a few extra bits I'll be using. I'll be using Super Sculpey clay, um, but I wanted to talk you through my logic and my decision making and everything else. So firstly, this glue, I've talked about this quite a lot, but you need some kind of glue and you need an accelerator to quickly um, get the glue to seal and um, hopefully hold in place the, the fantastic work that you'll be doing with a custom. I've also got this awesome Procreate putty. So what I'll be doing is I'll be boiling one of these two heads. I cannot decide on which head uh, this uh, Chicla lips and paintwork is completely off um, but I'll be boiling the hair and ripping the hair off I cannot decide which one I want to use for my Medusa please if you can let me know in the comment section what you think would be the better one obviously it'll be fully repainted and it'll be added on top of this awesome uh, awesome uh, shriek figure so I bought a bunch of these um, they're really really good for customizing as you can see um, the uh, double joint and elbows and um, you know it's got all the really really good tech that you want from the newer Marvel Legends range and what I'll be doing is I'll be probably slicing it about here just using a hacksaw to cut through pop the head off sell all these bits and uh, yeah then based on which head I end up going with uh, one of these two awesome ladies heads here I'll be using this Procreate putty I've used I've seen a lot of people using this in a really awesome way online I recently bought some I'm not that experienced with it there's a few customs you'll see me using this with coming up but um, it allows for movement in the hair it won't snap under movement like normal clay would from some of my other videos and figures that you might have seen so I'm very excited to scoop some snakes out of this and um, yeah yet again have a little look at these two I just can't put my finger on do I want it to look like, you know, smiling and slightly passive aggressive evil? Or do I just want a full blown evil here <laughs> looking like a badass? So here we are with the Raw 10 Battlesnake by McFarlane Toys. Wow, what better base. I've been dying to open this. And uh, let's just see if I can actually get in. Oh, here we go. There we go. I've got to use this head in some way, shape or form for Serpent Society, like either accessories or, or, a, or a member or maybe like a throne or something in the background. But yeah, I've really, really been excited to uh, get this guy open. As you can see, it's absolutely awesome packaging. Very, very cool. Didn't cost that much either. I ended up picking up for around about, I think it's £20. And here you go. I'm back with you. <laughs> Just had to pause that video because it was very hard to get out of the packaging. And here we go. I'll just dump that down there. Look at that snake. Wow. That is going to be absolutely brilliant as a Medusa base. Um, I'm not sure if it articulates very much. Do you know what? It actually does. And uh, this end, my son rightfully pointed out, like this is a, clearly like a robot end on it. So um, what I'll be using is is this stuff, this Procreate putty. Uh, I want it to be light. I want it to be manoeuvrable. Um, I'm probably going to hold down like put some weights on it to try and hold the movement um, of the tail like this but I also don't mind the way it curls up it does look quite natural um, I like this sort of pose with it and um, I'm just going to open up this shriek figure now so we can have a little look at the difference in the size of the waist for shriek versus the, uh, the cobra's body <clears throat> and what kind of customization I'm probably going to have to do. So here we go. Just dump the next down there. I always keep these back pieces. I don't know if it's because I'm a hoarder, but I always think I can do something eventually in like a display or something. With them. Okay, there's the parts for Armadillo. Bam, here we go. Here she is in all of her glory. I'm not actually a fan of this figure. I've done a custom version and um, I'll put that up very soon for you guys to see um, with swappable heads. This head to me just looks a bit lame. I don't know if you guys agree, but like she's meant to be evil and part of Carnage's uh, sort of symbiote family. I think he's Mrs, isn't it? So um, yeah, this to me just doesn't scream anything you should be scared of. Really like vanilla pose, just happy, la 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 la. Definitely not using that head. So let's just pop that head off. <clears throat> And uh, I'm just going to go with this one for now. Check that it fits on. 
yeah, awesome. A little bit high, so maybe I'll need to drill that out a little bit. That's going to have a little bit of consideration as to whether or not I use this head. But then here we go. That'll be probably, let's just imagine it's on there. Hip wise, if the hip width there is probably around about there as well. So if I cut the hips there, then I think that'll look pretty good. I'm thinking I'm going to keep these hands as well for Medusa. As you can see, she'll stand pretty tall. I'm just hoping that it balances because obviously it'll be a lot lighter. This is actually quite a hard plastic, whereas this is like a soft, malleable uh, rubber. You can see the join there. So um, yeah, there's quite a lot I've got to consider. I do like this design. I think if it's just repainted, like more animal-like, then it'll look really, really cool. But um, yeah, imagine all the snakes coming down with the Pro Crate Putty. This is going to look really cool. So guys, here we go. I've been talking for six minutes now. I hope you like this video. I hope you're looking forward to seeing my up and coming uh, Medusa custom figure. Let me know which head you think I should go with. I think both of these heads would be pretty good picks and it'll still allow for normal articulation and movement and whatnot. And that's it from me. If you've got any comments, please let me know in the comment section below what you think I should be making my new custom figure, what you think I should be doing with this one. And if you've got any questions or if you've got any observations, feedback or anything else, if you want your own custom figure, please reach out to me on Facebook, Instagram, here on YouTube. And guys, from me, from the up and coming Medusa. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.